Aloha. This summer we're helping our friend Russ turn his backyard into a Hawaiian beach party for a rockin' luau. We've mixed up some creamy pina coladas that are bursting with the tropical flavors of coconut and rum. For appetizers, or poo-poos as the islanders call them, start things off with a mango salsa dip that is fresh, fruity, and delicious. Give your host the chance to show off his skills at the grill with Polynesian pork skewers and vegetables and satisfy your guest's sweet tooth with chocolate dipped fruit. Mixing an inexpensive but very grand arrangement with what's blooming in your yard and putting up a few tiki torches will make you almost smell the Pacific. A great partner game and one of the most laid back island soundtracks ever will put you in the mood to party. So grab your lay and prepare to sway. It's time for a luau. Aloha, Aloha and welcome Aloha. to our luau. We have our special guest, Russ, returning once again. Now, not only Thank was you. he looking to host a luau, but he also had a little bit, um, you got bit by the fame bug last year, didn't you? I certainly did. You're yeah. on Gallagher. <laughs> so we said absolutely. Fame it is. It sure is. For all you seven people, his name is Russ. Yeah, call him. <laughs> um, but we were able to get you in between appearances. I was available. I was available this yeah. morning. Yeah, so we were very, very, very excited. So Russ is going to host a luau outside at his uh, pool. Cool. and we're gonna help him right out here so we're gonna start off with our signature cocktail Wonderful. the pina colada now I have to tell you I am not usually a fan of the pina colada but Jennifer mm. swears to me the way that we make it tonight I will be a changed woman because the key is fresh fruit and fresh ingredients mm -hmm. because a bottle jarred pina colada it, I mean it tastes like a bad Chinese restaurant no offense to anyone out there who <laughs> no. runs a Chinese restaurant or a I'm bad a, one I'm a huge fan and I worked at one for many years in college <laughs> as noted on previous episodes yeah. however different um, show. It's, it's a totally different taste when you have fresh pineapple in it yeah. in the middle of summer it'll rock your world okay I'm in so shall I'm we in. go yes let's okay. do it up so we have started with a blender full of ice um, that we will crush once we get in there and we're gonna go with a full cup of rum Yep. Correct? Full cup. Here you go. I'm going to give Thank you that. Thank you. And, uh, oh, rum. Yes. And by the way, all of this, all of the non-alcoholic ingredients are available in your grocery store. You just have to kind of wander or around. Or your liquor store. You can oh, find right. this stuff in the liquor store too. Yeah. Because Alexander was looking for it all in the supermarket yesterday. So what we're doing now is also a cup, but this is of the cream of coconut, which is different than what Russ is about to put in or Alex. So this is a cup of the cream of coconut which goes in there too. And then our second coconut product. Yeah, and not to be confused with coconut water, which apparently is a big thing nowadays. Which apparently also is a foamy baloney. They say it's got the all this stuff. Get out of town. Um, this, is, uh, the, this is the coconut milk. Yes. You know, you, you should not ask me that on camera because I don't know, and I haven't watched enough Survivor to figure it out. But anyways, <laughs> this is, so we did a cup of the rum and a, and a cup of the cream. Now we're doing a half of a cup of the coconut milk, which has a different consistency. How's that for an answer? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I now know the yeah. difference. We're in. And last but not least, the key ingredient. Half a cup of pineapple. But I'm going to go with a cup because... I'm with you. I, I'm with you. I do it like we I'm going to go for a taste. Absolutely. Yeah. We just cut this up this morning, mm. and I'm going to show you how we cut it in a moment. Um, it couldn't be easier, and frankly, it's way cheaper than buying the pre-cut stuff at your supermarket. A whole pineapple costs three eighty-eight at the supermarket, and you get half of this yeah. bowl, which is right. a ton of pineapple, versus the pre-cut stuff mm. where you're paying like $5 for a tiny little cup. Get out of there. Okay, so now we're going to blend. Okay, blend it up, girl. <gasps> we're going to have no pineapple by the end of this. It does smell good though, I have to tell you. It smells you. delish. Yeah. Now you can serve this over ice if you're that kind of a person. I don't mind like a nice Me neither. normal crushed ice drink. I'm with you. Here you go. Okay. Um, I've done the garnish. 
Uh, thank God. So a we, cherry and a piece of pineapple. And the Adorable. little drink umbrellas, which are key. Um, and we have these fabulous cups. This is these the. These are so cute. Aren't they? This is the world famous yellow cup. Yellow cup. Uh, Introduction to the world. Yes. Here now you are. this, like I, this, this could Just actually like use that. a little more ice now that I'm looking at it now. So feel free to add more ice if you feel like it's necessary and you want that real icy taste to it. Okay. But for now. Um, a okay. Pina colada. Pina colada. Fresh ingredients. I love okay, I'm taking this out I'm right now. I'm taking this out too. It's going to be so my you don't face. Spear your eye. Okay. Oh my God, that's so good. All right, I, I'll give it to you. I'm, I'm a Delicious. bit of a changed woman. Delicious. Um, and Delish. perfect for our luau. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.